Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to do maintain user and also user access right assignment. In SQL, our user license is based on concurrent user, meaning that let's say you only purchase for two users, but in your office you have 10 employees. So you can actually maintain all the employees inside the system first. And to do that, is go to Tools, Maintain User. So just click New. Maybe the new stuff is called Alice. So you just maintain as Alice. So this is how you maintain the user. Okay, we never share username and password within the employees because later on, we will use audit trial to track what have, what uh, individual user have done inside the system. Or if you have a problems document, let's say a problem invoice, we want to trace back who is the person in charge or edit this document, who is the person who create this document, who is the person who delete this document, you can trace back according to user. So never share username and password. Now, the second step is you need to assign security. That means you need to do security assignment or user access assignment. In SQL, we're always very proud of our security. Why? It's because under tools maintain user, okay, go to more, access control. Now, this is all your user, admin, form, test, lead, Alice is one single employee or user. So by row basis is actually the transaction or the module in SQL. For example, sales. You click the plus sign over here. You can see all the transaction or all the function available in SQL. A very simple one is called invoice. Alice is a new joint staff. So you do not allow her to edit invoice or delete invoice. You just allow her to create a new invoice. Anything you, you need to ask superior come over. So what you need to do is for invoice, you point to Alice column, click it and you see all these X and E things. Never mind, arrow down. This is what the meaning of individual. So in SQL, we separate most of the transaction into this few action. Execute, new, edit, delete, process, print, preview, export. So for Alice, you do not allow her to do anything else beside of create new invoice. Just untick. So Alice can only create new invoice. So people always like to ask, right? I don't want my sales staff to go to GL to edit anything in GL. So you just go to GL, plus sign again. So for example, Alice, you can actually hide. Click on Alice. Sorry, it's GL. Okay, click the first one. You can actually click on Shift, arrow down all the way. Okay, sorry, arrow down all the way. Then click on Revoke. Okay, so it will make all this become non accessible. Okay, this is how easy for you to maintain the security or user access right for individual user. Click Save Free. Okay, so this is how you maintain a, a user then maintain the access right for them. So if you do want to view um, other SQL tutorial video, just drop by at my website is syntech.com.my, click on YouTube and here you go all the tutorial video and please do drop by at my Facebook, it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Click on the like button to like my page so that you can enjoy the any latest information regarding GSD and also SQL accounting system. Now that's all for today. And once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.